Hi everyone, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Well, today I decided that I would do the continuation of my question and answer series that I did a couple of weeks ago in which I asked you guys to ask me some questions and I was just going to answer them. And a lot of the questions that I got were like re related to Los Angeles and why I decided to move and some differences um, between Atlanta and Los Angeles and things like that. So I thought that I would do a video on just Los Angeles in a whole by itself. So I am born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. I attended college in Los Angeles, California. Well, uh, or the outskirts of Los Angeles. And, um, but I spent a lot of time in Los Angeles. And matter of fact, I think I spent more time in Los Angeles in my um, adult life than I did at home. But the reason that I decided to come back to Atlanta from Los Angeles after having been there for 16, 17 years, it wasn't that I did not like Los Angeles. I loved Los Angeles. And I loved how it was always something for me to do. If my money was short, I could still find something to do. I love the beach. You guys hear me say that all the time. I love water. And there were a couple of times that I came back home um, earlier in my, during college, and I came back home um, thinking that I was going to stay home. And I always went back to Los Angeles. And what drew me back was the water and the ocean. I spent so much time at the um, beaches in Los Angeles as well as in San Diego. And I just love the beaches. Now, going back to why I left. Well... I have a daughter and during the summers I would bring my daughter back to Atlanta to be with um, my parents her grandparents and her cousins and um, my aunts you know and she was the first great grandchild and when well, she was the first grandchild so she was the first grandniece and um, she I mean everyone just like like took her you know, when I was in college, I had help from my family and things. And my sister moved to Los Angeles to help me so I could finish my degree program. And so, you know, my family was really, really important to me. And so I would send her back here to Atlanta during the summer. And so in the summers of Los, when I was in Los Angeles, I was just like free and I partied and I, I like... I love the clubs out there, even though they could be real Hollywood at times, depending on which ones you would go to back in the day. But I loved it. And so all the things that Los Angeles had to offer, um, the nightlife, you know, I, um, a lot of you may not know, I was on, I was able to go on Soul Train and be a Soul Train dancer. That was like one of my lifetime dreams and I did that. I was um, in a crisscross video. I was on Party Machine back in the day with Nia Peoples. I just did everything. I went to a couple of um, casting calls. And one thing that I can say about Los Angeles, I would not take those experiences away. The things that I have done in Los Angeles were things that I know that I could not have done anywhere else. And those are like experiences and and um, that I will always challenge. Now Los Angeles did teach me a lot because when I went out to Los Angeles, I was really, really green. Matter of fact, I remember sitting in my dorm room and every night i would see these helicopters fly over and my <laughs> my roommate was from the virgin islands and she i would say to her i'm like gosh avril they're always making movies around here and she gave me the craziest look 
and was like, fool, they're not making movies. That's the ghetto bird. I had never seen a helicopter with lights on it looking for people. That was crazy to me. You know, I, it, um, where my school was located, it was in the middle of, I think it was Bloods territory. Coming from Atlanta at the time, I had no concept of gangs or whatever. And I was just accustomed to wearing whatever I wanted to wear. And because my dorm was, I felt like I was safe. Now, okay, let me tell you about my dorm. My parents were mortified to send me to school in um, Los Angeles. And so they, um, I had like several dorms that I could have chose to live on, on campus or whatever, but they chose to put me in a dorm that was run by nuns. I'm Baptist. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? But if I tell you guys, I had the best time in that dormitory. We turned that thing out. We would have these con um, contests. And back in, the, in that time, like 89, 90, Star Search was out, I think was still on. It had to be. But we would call our Stella Search because my dorm was Stella Maris. And so we would do have Stella Search. And oh my goodness. And at the time, Michelle A, something in my, something in, something in my, something in my heart was out. That was my jam. Oh my God. And I would always sing that. I would always sing that song and I would, I would always lip sync the song. And, um, my goodness. But yeah, I, I, I have so many memories and I met so many great people from all types of religions and all types of backgrounds and all types of cultures and that was another thing that Los Angeles exposed me to because being from Atlanta and even though I thought I was a city girl I was raised in the suburbs and I was real green about a lot of things and like I said Los Angeles schooled me really quick and back to my dorm being in the middle of, I think it was Bloods territory. I'm not quite sure, but I went out and I had on this, let's see what I have on. I don't remember the type of pants I had on, but the shirt was a white shirt and it had like pink splashes. It looked like it was paint splotches over and it was blue and red and yellow, and whatever. And I remember I was walking to the 7-Eleven. And I, had my, I asked my roommate to go with me and she, I think she was studying or something. So I wanted to meet a Slurpee from the 7-Eleven. And so I'm walking to the 7-Eleven, you know, whatever. And this kid, he probably was 16, maybe 15 or 16. I think I was like 18 or 19. And he saw what I had on. And he walked and he like hit my cho my shoulder and he said, so what's up? You know, and he started doing all this stuff. I didn't know what that was. I thought the boy had some kind of, he was having a seizure or Tourette's or something. So I'm looking at him and he goes, so where are you from? And I said, I'm from Atlanta. And I kept walking and it, it just, it was just so like, duh. And so I kept walking onto the 7-Eleven. So I come back and I tell the group of girls who were in the um, common area what happened to me. I was like, uh, he gonna bump into me and gonna ask me where I'm from. And they were like, girl, you probably confused them with that red and blue one. Don't you know you in Bloods territory? No, I did not. And why did somebody tell me that I was supposed to be restricted to these colors or whatever so but all that being said my times in Los Angeles I didn't see any violence I wasn't around any of that I was still pretty sheltered and so when I moved out the dorm I moved um with my roommate the girl from Virgin Islands and we moved towards the Hollywood area and we had so much fun but 
those were like my college years because now I'm like reminiscing of a whole lot um, back before what you're really concerned about. So anyway, so I decided to really um, come back home because I thought I was being selfish. My daughter was getting, old, getting older. She would only see my parents during the summers or when they would come out um, to see us. And, um, and my parents were getting older. And there, was, there came a time where I really began to miss home. And the biggest reason was I tried to buy a house in Los Angeles and it wasn't in the city. Um, at one time it was in, I was looking in Paris, California, and that drive, I just wasn't willing to make the commute. I um, looked at, it was a new development out there, and I worked at the University of Southern California, and that commute just wasn't going to work for me. Even though the, the, the community and everything was really, really nice, I didn't like that. And the other thing was, I liked being having access to the ocean and to the beaches and things like that. And so even though that would have been affordable for me, um, I don't think it would have been economical with the commute, the gas, and the wear and tear on my car. So there was another area that I was um, looking at. It was these really, really nice condos and um, Inglewood. Now, Inglewood really gets a bad rap because there are some really nice areas in Inglewood. And these condos, they were beautiful. The street was beautiful. That's another thing about Los Angeles. It's like every other street. I mean, every, uh, you know, other street can be a good street. You know, you're, you're, you're on a good street. Your next street could be a bad street. It just, you know, it just depends. And so, but these condos were beautiful. And my dad was going to give me the money to, it was actually for me, but my sister was living with me. So, um, we would be splitting the mortgage, but the mortgage would have been in my name. So my dad was giving me the money to get the condo. And when I was going through the process and everything about, um, getting it, oh my goodness, the amount of money that they were trying to tell me that I could qualify for. I couldn't buy a garage and then the areas that I that that money would afford I wouldn't want to stay in I wouldn't I wouldn't feel safe living in and so I knew where I came from and I knew that I did not want to stay in California if there was some aspects of California that I could have brought with me to Georgia I would have but I knew that I could not live in California in Los Angeles the way that I wanted to live in Los Angeles and um matter of fact like the apartment that we lived in in westchester was a two bedroom two bath really really nice apartment but we were paying then in 2006 2004 2004 we were paying like 1350 for 1350 i could have a really nice house here in atlanta so those things like that is what you know kind of drew me back to Atlanta um but I do I I really do I love LA if Los Angeles was more affordable and with everything that it has to offer I shop all the time I always had the latest fashion when I came back home I was up on the trends um I loved going to the garment district I go there to shop I go there to get shoes um there were like so many like guest stores and you know different things like that i love the culture the different types of food that there was there compared to here in atlanta now when i came back to atlanta i was really really, really amazed at the, how it had changed the hispanic population had really grown here because when i left there was none you know it was i remember the first family who moved into our neighborhood growing up was the Oliveras, and they were the first Hispanic family that we had ever seen. I had no clue. So, you know, like I said, when I left Atlanta, 
I was a different person. I was very naive and I had not been exposed to a lot of things. And I can say Los Angeles really, really matured me. And I, I had to grow up very, very quick. You're either going to sink or you're going to swim out there. And I say that to anybody. And a lot of my friends, I tried to, once I was established there, I tried to bring them out there. And you know what? Sometimes everyone isn't receptive of what you're trying to do. And my biggest problem is my, I see more, I see other people's potential more than they do. And so I will like go out on a limb for them or, you know, get them like an interview, whatever. And they come and they screwed it up. So, you know, I just really wanted to, to help them. And I tell anyone, if I can make it in LA, I can make it anywhere. And so any obstacles that I've had here in Atlanta, LA has made me stronger. It really has. Um, a lot of people may have, may feel like I may have had it easy because, you know, I had my sister who came to help me and, you know, and I finished, like I said, I finished school and, um, yeah, I mean, I really couldn't have done a lot of things if it wasn't for my sister. I tell her all the time, I really appreciate what she did because she literally put her life on hold so that I could continue um, with what I wanted to do. And she was like always my biggest cheerleader. And I have told her so many times, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now that I have a niece, it's my turn um, to help her out. So during the summer, I mean, well, coming up, I will be having my niece. And um, I'm going to have her until my sister gets here. And um, she's going to go to school here. So I am going to pay it for it because I know that I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for her and um and while I'm at school, she's picking my daughter up. She's taking her to school. She's helping her with her homework. You know, she was just a huge help for me. Um, so, okay. So, now, the differences, like I said, between Atlanta and Los Angeles. Yes, the cultural differences. And there's always something to do. Now, th there is things to do in Atlanta. But right now, um... It's going to cost you but a lot of the times. Like I said, if I my, my funds were funny in Los Angeles, I could go to the beach and we could have a good time. I could have a picnic on the beach and we can sit. We can walk along the beach. It's easy. We can go to the boardwalk and go to Santa Monica. Um, There was always, you can get like tickets to premieres and things like that. Now in Atlanta, because it's like becoming known as Black Hollywood, all of those things that I was able to do in Los Angeles, I'm able to do here. So now, I'm, I have my home, the home that I was trying to get in Los Angeles, I have it now in Atlanta. I know if I were to have my home in Los Angeles, it could easily cost me about $500,000. Easily. Um, my entertainment, you know, I make my own entertainment. A lot of times I'm with my girls, you guys know that. We go out a lot, um, we try new foods. I go to some premieres that they have here that we get tickets. A lot of game shows now are filmed here in Atlanta. So I can go and see those things. Those are the same things that were um, available to me in um, Los Angeles. And as far as fashion, well, it's coming. I think there are so many. Now that you are able to order offline, there are a lot of stores that I like that are boutiques in Los Angeles that I would frequent that now you can order offline, online here. So, you know, as far as, but as, far as going to the malls, yeah, I think it is, it's, it's coming. It's coming. But those are the reasons I love both places and if I could take a little bit of what I loved about Los Angeles and what I loved about um, Atlanta and gel them together I would be I would be in like euphoria 
if Atlanta had a beach, it would be on. And I, and I don't mean me having to drive down to Savannah or somewhere, go to Tybee Island. I mean, it really, because when I was in Los Angeles, I lived literally five minutes away from the beach. My apartment did not have air conditioning because I got the ocean breeze. I could look out my window and see um, snow-capped mountains and the Hollywood Hills sign, you know, on, on a good day when it was no smog. So, you know, those are the things that I treasure. I was able to live places and see things that I never would have dreamed that I would have seen. And it taught me that I am a risk taker. I'm not afraid to do anything. If it's the, if there's something that I want to do, um, I'm going to try it. And if I fail, that's okay. A lot of people fail, but I'm going to try it again. I wasn't afraid to go to college in Los Angeles and not know anyone. I wasn't afraid to go the second time after I had my daughter and not know how I was going to make it because you know I'm a survivor I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna do what I need to do to get where I want to go so if you guys if any of you thought about you know moving to Los Angeles or coming to Atlanta um, you know and you don't know anyone because that was my husband's biggest concern when we did move because Atlanta was not my first um, choice to um, I thought it would be beneficial for the both of us maybe we move to Dallas because that way we will be central if he needed to go home and see his mom or his family in Los Angeles he could get there. If I need to get home, I can get, get back home to Atlanta in 10 hours. We would be pretty much in the middle. And so, but his issue was we didn't know anybody. My view on that, I didn't need to know anybody. I've been places where I've been there by myself and I've had to figure it out. I'm not afraid to take risks. So we ended up here in Atlanta because he was comfortable being where we knew someone so but I don't regret it I um I'm happy I'm home my daughter was able to um finish up middle school here finish um high school here and now she's about to finish college here and um yep I think we probably made the right decision so guys I just wanted to go ahead and answer those two questions and I know I kept going back and forth but hopefully you followed me and um, if you are thinking of moving and you know you you're on the fence about it maybe this helped you you know just go visit and you you know you might like it you might not and if you do do it take a risk you, if you if it doesn't work you can always come back home so guys I am going to end this video and if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me on a comment. Leave me a comment um, below and let me know what you thought. <laughs> I know this was long, but I hope you guys don't mind. And if you're new to Winnie's House, I would love for you to subscribe. So I just wanted to go ahead and answer those two questions because I did say that I had a video coming specifically about my times in Los Angeles. If you want to hear more about my Los Angeles stories or whatever, let me know and um, I, I'll do it because your girl was a trip. I know I, I tell you guys that a lot, but yeah, I was a mess. So, um, yeah, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but give me a thumbs up like I said and leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're new and share my video. Okay, guys, so you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Winnie's house. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.